Hello, uh, welcome to the third instalment of Ted and Andy's Graphic in, uh, Adventure. And today we're going to be concentrating on cropping. So this presentation is just a little short presentation on cropping. So uh, first things first, to introduce you to uh, a pair of croppers. Uh, these two black right angles are uh, what we affectionately know as uh, croppers. Uh, a bit analog, but um, you'll all be used to the crop tool on Instagram and um, yeah, this is the uh, old way of doing it. So I'm going to just uh, yeah, show you a few things. Now this is about intrigue and impact. Uh, I think I'll start with a magazine from Cover. Uh, and here we have the front of the weekend magazine from The Guardian uh, a few years back, 2013. And this has got both impact and intrigue. Uh, I'm intrigued to know who it is, uh, but it has impact on the shelf because of the sheer closeness of the crop. Uh, but it, it's, to, it's Tony Blair. But um, you can see that the, the power of, of the crop, um, and that's really, it's a very effective and basic tool that you will use as a designer throughout your career. And what we want to do is impress upon you as first years is just how effective uh, cropping can be. And in light of your um, project coming up, the um, image project, juxtaposition, uh, this, um, this little presentation is designed to help you um, think about the composition and crop and how effective you do crop the images uh, when it comes to that project. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few examples. Again, uh, professionally, I think uh, these are all called from um, DNAD's uh, annuals. Uh, this is a, uh, an advertisement for garlic and how it can be basically good for your joints. But not only is it an interesting observation, but the way it's cropped uh, in very effectively, very close uh, in on the garlic to one side so you can read the copy line. This one here uh, is for online clinic for mothers, uh, uh, webaby.co.uk. Now this is a, a fantastic example of how the crop really is the idea. What we have here is basically um, an old iMac which dates the advert to around about 2000, uh, 1991 but the old iMac still had the cathode ray tube in the back so simply by cropping it to one side and the little hand coming around there um, to make it look like a pregnant lady's tummy um, is really a fantastic piece of observation. But also, more importantly, it's the crop um, that makes the idea. We have another one here, which is an advert for uh, um, uh, VW. Don't forget the diesel. Uh, and uh, what this is about. Um, is about cropping the image to look like an elephant. So again, a very good observation about the pump handle and the petrol pump looking like uh, uh, an elephant from side on. But more importantly, you know, um, you know the crop. And then uh, this one here again uh, is another, another, another nice example. This is the tuna, John West tuna, uh, nothing but fish. But again, what we have here is a close, tight in crop of the top of a can to look like the ripples in the water and it has a little, uh, it has a little uh, fishing line with a boy in it. So as you can see from those examples, the, how effective a crop can be. Uh, on a more kind of commercial front, um, I just want to show you something from one of the Times style supplements. Uh, here you can, uh, you can see basically um, how many different crops can be taken into consideration um, with a handbag there. So, Again, that shows multiple crops, but um, I think one of the things also that I want to mention is that whenever you see an image, uh, one, no matter where it may be, it's already been cropped by somebody. The image and the format has already been considered and how the image fits on that format. So whatever format you're working to, whether it be a magazine, uh, which I have another example here, which is a Guardian Weekend magazine. So yeah, this is uh, another, another nice uh, crop, uh, the car in the bottom corner. A nice restraint there, and then you know, to, to suppose that we've got uh, uh, the angry cat, uh, which was a, a bit of an internet sensation. But again, the impact of the angry cat, and then we have another one here, which is the MH17 um, story from a few years back, where unfortunately uh, the, the plane was shot down. Uh, but the impact of the image and how well it's cropped uh, really enforces the kind of message. So you know, I think as designers. I think you should all begin to think about the um, quality of the crop. Uh, here we have uh, some sporting ones. These are all from the Times newspaper. 
uh, uh, from the Olympics in 2012. So all really incredibly powerful crops. Uh, I particularly like this one here again. Uh, but again, it's, it is a poster, so basically there is more to the image. And that's the full image there, as you can possibly see. The full image is there, but again, just by folding it, you're thinking about the front cover and how to crop it on that. So yeah, I think that gets the idea across. Um, just to finish off with, I have kind of one here as well, which is kind of again, this is another magazine that's all to do with uh, really high class watches, but you can see how powerful that image is there. Um, um, so is there anything else to say on this front? I'm trying to think really. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, just to finish off, no matter when you see an image, whether it be a poster, a book, a magazine, Instagram, the web, or even in films, you know, art directions, you know, thinking about the actual kind of crop and the framework of the shot. Um, as I say, most uh, good photographers will do it, and you as an art director will also look down the lens and try and crop it as much as you possibly can uh, while you actually take the raw shot, whether it be in a photo shoot or, or something like that. But a lot of the cropping does go on um, after that when you get the contact sheets back. But the more you can actually crop an image, uh, if you're taking your own image anyways, uh, when you're actually looking down the lens of the camera, the better. Some people are brilliant at it, but uh, I, I think that well, the majority of shots you've just seen have actually been cropped in for impact. So yeah, I've, um, so this is, a, this, is a, this is an interesting magazine, which was uh, from the Millennium which is kind of lots of different crops in it. So yes, I think that's the end of cropping. Ted, welcome back um, to the cropping uh, presentation. Now in front of me, uh, I'm just gonna show you um, how to actually go back to the, uh, you know, the croppers and uh, how you can use them, uh, how effective they are, if you've got an image in front of you, how you can have a look at what you can actually crop. So for example here, you know, I can crop quite close in there and using the you know, croppers I can go around and see which you know, image that I want to, to use and what's most effective. So, you know, um, the, you can get la the larger the croppers the better, but as you can see, you know, uh, hopefully uh, from what I'm trying to do here. So yeah, um, and I'm going to just do a couple more. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually cropping existing imagery. So let's not, rem let's not forget that this imagery has already been cropped by a designer, the designer of the magazine and the art director. But uh, you know, as a designer, I might be looking for feet shots, uh, shots of feet or something like that. So you know, if I take something like this, I can then concentrate uh, in on the, the legs or conversely again, you know, on the heads. So as you can see, it's a quick, uh, versatile way uh, of beginning to work out how you want to basically um, crop your image in the most effective way that communicates you know, what you want to the viewer. Now this is quite a good crop as it is, but um, you know, uh, an intriguing, great shot, action shot of the ping pong. But again, as you can see, uh, I can extend that a little bit there, I can crop right in on the head of the ping pong, and uh, hopefully you can see you know, how effective that is. Um, I've got another one here, I think. Uh, and we go back to to the Angry Cat, which was an internet sensation uh, a few a few years ago. Uh, and as you can see there, cropping in, making the cat look even more grumpy uh, than it already does. Uh, I think, uh, <laughs> you can see there, there's, that's an interesting kind of thing that already exists with the word enjoy. You know, the coppers are actually at the extreme now, but you know, that's kind of Personally, I think that's probably actually a better crop than actually um, what was actually on the magazine. Uh, I think this gets in the way a bit, but you know, some cover magazine with just the, the word enjoy on it. There you go. I think for me, there's a perfect example of how if I was out directing the Times magazine, I would that would be my front cover, I think. Uh, so it just shows. So it, you can take an existing image uh, and, and re-crop it to how you want it to be. This is a, from a, again, go just to quickly finish off to go with the watch thing. I just quite like this kind of guy in the background there who's on his yacht, again. Um, you go landscape, portrait, around a little bit there. So yeah, nice. So yeah, just to finish off with, they are the croppers. So they're easy, cut yourself, uh, get some black card, some ruler, right angle, uh, and measure them. These are a little bit floppy, but you might want to be a, bit, a little bit thicker. Uh, but yeah, always handy to take into account. Um, I'll go back to the cat. Thank you very much indeed.
Chad.